try again. Okay, that's a good look for Scott, isn't it? <laughs> the liquid literally just ran out. We did use it earlier in my yeah, defense, yeah, right? Yeah. Were... Okay, now I know you need to top it up. Uh, that's another tell me question. How do you know if you need more um, or you've got enough washing liquid for your windscreens? And one of the answers you try to wash the windows, yeah. all right? If it doesn't okay. come out, we know we need more. Right, okay, we'll choose another question then. Um, would you show me how to demist the front window? Uh. Lovely. And then when you're ready, we'll just hit it again, turn it off. So later when we're driving, I'm gonna ask you that as you're showing me question, okay? okay? All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do is drive out of this car park, then follow the sat nav. Okay. And we have started your mock test from now. I wish you the best of luck. When you're ready, you can exit right or left and then follow the sat nav, please. Thank you. Very difficult to see here. For junctions like that, to see this vehicle a bit better, edge out a tiny bit more until we can see if it's safe. You can always stop at that point and let cars pass. Very good question. Um, all the way to the end of the road, please. The best thing about this sat nav is it counts down. After 300 yards, turn left, A4090, Witten Avenue East. For your real test, if you aren't sure of the direction, please ask your examiner. They're more than willing to help. Yeah. Turn left, A4090, Witten Avenue East. Excellent stopping distance. Good clearance from your parked cars as you came up here as well. Welcome to Greenford. Yeah, it's quite a busy area actually. Sunday, yeah, it's still a bit busy. Was it that you came from today? Um, oh, right. Yeah, okay, so you're from there. If I was doing commentary on top of this video right now, 
I would say you're the very first person to ever use this lane in 14 years that I've been doing this job to go straight. Thank you. A big smile just came on my face when you used this lane. I was like, no, I pinched myself for a second there. Um, very good. How did you know you could use this lane to go straight? Because uh, the arrows. You saw the sign, yeah, and the arrows? Brilliant. Sophia, if you see me wiggling in my chair, you know about my back, so it's just a reason. Don't think I'm moving to do anything. I like use the controls. Sometimes that freaks people out. kind of scanning and having a glance over every now and again, which is nice. Another part which was correct me if I'm wrong, as you came through the traffic light earlier, you checked your right mirror, I think I believe you know you noticed it was purging. After two hundred yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A4090. Witten Avenue West. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A4090, Witten Avenue West. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A312, Pets Hill, then keep left. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then keep left. After 200 yards, keep left. Okay, ignore the sat nav for me, Sophia. I'm gonna say that's the end of the sat nav independent drive. Keep this lane. We're gonna to go to the right of the traffic lights, like the traffic. I wanna take you to the double lane lights. Keep left.
and so forth when it's safe. I'd just like you to show us how you would demist the front windscreen. All right, thank you. If nothing said, follow the road ahead. So people do shout when they're on the phone, don't they? <laughs> Sometimes I think something's happening, it's just someone just on the phone. Right, now I'm going to play with fire a little bit. There is a car park that the examiners use to do the bay parking, okay? Um, it is under construction, so there might not be that many spaces, so this is on me. Fingers crossed we'll find some space. Now the roundabout says Superstore, so I'd like us to go to Superstore please. Hey, caramba. <laughs> it looks pretty busy in there. Anyways, a roundabout turn right, please. Just following the traffic for me. It's a bit awkward, this roundabout. Nice, yeah, it's good. Nice little style there. Cool beans, thank you. If you just continue to follow those cars into the car park. Just to the left here for me, please. Thank you. No, we usually go down that way, so we'll go down that way. I've seen some spaces, but not too many. If it's safe, we'll just continue all the way ahead. All right, yeah, we might get a couple. Okay, if it's safe, just follow around here. Thank you. And as we follow around again, we might see some spaces. All right, so there's a few here. I think there's a few up there as well. Up there might be better. I just hope there's no motorbikes or anything in those bays. But can you see just past this Mercedes, yeah. there's like these bays available. Would you try to reverse into one of those bays for me, please? Thank you. Stop making me smile, Sophia. <laughs> nice blind spot check, well done.
I love it. All right, when you're ready, I'd like you just to exit the car park. I was going to say follow the sat nav, force a habit there. No, I'll give you the directions, okay? okay? And uh, yeah, drive on whenever you're ready. sense of direction. Okay, the roundabout, turn left. Lovely observations. Gonna to try to continue to follow the road ahead. <coughs> yeah, we got it. Got it safe. Mm, very nice road trips. Lovely. Good control here. Well done for not copying the Audi. Okay, we're gonna be going towards Harrow, which is just gonna be straight ahead where the blue car is going and all that traffic. And then that will take us to the double roundabouts. But I'm going to get us to stop just before that, okay. and then we'll go over the roundabouts. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah, you're doing well. You should be a good poker player as well, I think. <laughs> Even if you were nervous, it doesn't show. Um, for the real test, though, we'll all be in a little bit nervous, so yeah. that's normal. Um, the next level of nerves is when the feet get shaky. So mm. if someone's got shaky legs, um, probably not best to do the test to be honest, it's mm. too much at that point. Just in the distance, you might see there's some cars parked up on the left. Before that car that's parked on the left, would you be able to just pull us over and stop us somewhere on the left? Don't worry about driveways or any yellow lines on this occasion. So just somewhere on the left here, before that car. have the double roundabouts next. Okay. Uh, first roundabout turn right, second roundabout turn right. That's so just a right right. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of space in between them. It's not quite like Pinner where there's like maybe two car lengths. Mm. This one's probably got like ten car lengths. Okay. So, but they're quite close, reasonably close. So just to go over the direction one more time, right at the first roundabout, right at the second. Okay. okay. Second exit, second exit. Drive on when you're ready, and if you're not sure, just ask me, I'll give you the directions again. Okay? Thank you.
nice little mirror tricks there on the ends as well. It's good. Well done. That is a pretty tricky roundabout, especially the first one. Alright, um, would you like to try a little bit of independent driving again? This time it would be following the signs. Is that something that we would have covered before with your other instructor or um, following signs? No. No? Okay. Alright, the signs will say Wembley. Um, when the first one comes up, I'll just gently point towards it and we'll try to continue to follow signs after to Wembley as well. It's going to be quite a few signs. <coughs> The mullet's coming back. Mm. <laughs> oh, I just find the mullet so uncomfortable for some reason. I don't know what it is. Not the whole test, it's roughly 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Nossa Senhora. It's a Sunday. Jesus. Why is it always a BMW? Lucky for that BMW. My other camera just ran out of battery. Okay, what I'd like us to do is to pull up on these double yellow lines anywhere on the left for me, please. Thank you. Nice mirror chance. Gracias, senorita. And if you would just secure the vehicle for me. Thank you. Sorry. Playing with fire again. I was thinking the battery will last. Yeah, surely it will last. Okay, remember the three beeps from before? Mm -hmm. Before we set off, I'm going to ask you just to do that one more time for me. Thank you. Right, when you're ready, give us three big beeps. Thank you. Drive on and remember to keep following the signs to Wembley, please. Okay, you've got quite a large roundabout coming up next. Mm -hmm. Slightly hidden by the pole.
roadworks going on here at the moment. It can make it quite confusing with the layout, even for me, because it's changing so much here at the moment. I think we're all right though. I think we can keep going in this lane. I do see there's a no left sign up ahead. So I'm assuming this lane can't go left because there's a no left sign. So for that reason, we should be good to just continue to follow this lane ahead. There was a bus lane here before. I'm wondering if it's I oh, right. Sorry, so it does left only here. So it's safe. We'll try to change into the centre lane. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, this is all new to me. It's just been recently done. Done an emergency stop before. I've done it once before, um, but that's it. Yeah. Would you like to do it again? That is correct. Okay, would you take the next road on the left? And if we just take the next road on the left here for me, please. Thank you. And if you find us a safe, convenient place to pull up on the left. Thank you. Now, this is the part of the driving test where we may ask you if it's safe. <laughs> it's my impression of an examiner. Uh, to do an emergency stop, I'll put my hand up, say stop. Okay. And that's when I want you to do your emergency stop. Okay. Any questions before we drive on? No. Okay. Well, when you're ready, drive on and just wait for my signal. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, would you pull up on the left in a safe place? Thank you. You haven't done anything wrong. I <laughs> know it feels like that, doesn't it? Thank you. Yeah, it's just part of the test. So I think we've done it three times pulling up on the left. Yeah, this is exactly the third time. The examiners would do the same. In fact, this is quite perfect conditions as well. You see the distance that we have from this car in front? Yeah. It's roughly one car length. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the examiner will 
kind of encourage us to stop and leave this gap at some point on your test. So they might okay. say, oh, just go a little bit more forwards on me. Okay, stop here, something like that, and then drive away. All right, it's just part of the test. So when you're ready, drive on. I'm just going to head back to the test center now. Okay. Almost done. Okay, now I think there's a road on the right somewhere, yes, so I believe it's just coming up past these white cars here on the right, um, let's see, maybe not just yet, okay, a little bit further, would you take the next road on the right please? And if it's safe, take the next road on the right please. Nice with your observations. Very good with your signal again. Good understanding of the double double lines. It's a separate junction. So your other vehicle would have been a similar size to this car, which is quite nice. And adapted quite quickly to this vehicle. And at the end of this road, turn right. Into the road, turning left. Thank you. And uh -huh. at the end of the road, this is bugging me now. Turn right, please. Thank you. It's a bit awkward, it's a bit confusing. Thank you very much. And then we don't have a choice here. So at the end of the road, turning left, please. Shortly after, we'll have a roundabout. I'd like you to turn right at the roundabout. Third exit.
very good mirror checks. Well done. All right, this junction is what we call a staggered crossroads. You have this at Hendon. The sign says Greenford. This is a weird one though, okay? Uh, the best lane to use would be the left lane. Thank you. They found us, Sophia. How good are you at being a race car driver now? <laughs> right, we're very close. We're on Greenford Road, you know, the test centre nearby, the route that we've been doing to Greenford Route, so super close now. I might get a little bit of traffic on this road though. Fingers crossed. tempted to try and take a shortcut that I don't know if it's a shortcut or not <laughs> so I'm gonna put this out there right now I'm doing it <laughs> I'm gonna try this road I want to see if it's a shortcut and if it isn't we're gonna finish the test on that road <laughs> otherwise it'd be too embarrassing for me um, we are very very close to the test centre so if anybody's kind of watching this for a test route we're pretty much done anyways everyone knows Greenford Road in Greenford yeah, some shops here, and sometimes it just gets a bit busy. Should be less busy on Sunday. So, tell me something exciting. How long have you been on TikTok then? Um, I only started posting like consistently maybe a year ago. Okay. Yeah, and I just did it like for fun. I just did it for fun. Yeah. And then it started blowing up a little bit. A, a tiny bit. And yeah. you got addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I post kind of regularly. Yeah, yeah it's so. nice though, isn't it? I yeah. think it can be quite positive mm -hmm. uh, TikTok. I my account blew up because I did like um when I was in school, I did like a interview. But it was like like we interviewed different people, but then I got into like big trouble for it, so and I had to take the video down. Oh, like well, that's that's what like blew up my account kind of. Is it that the person wanted the video taken down? No, or? it was the school. Oh, it was the like, school. Okay. The questions weren't like they said like school appropriate, so it was like. Right. Yeah. They call that again. <laughs> Community guidelines or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because those are interesting. I like that kind of content. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, it's all I'm really watching at the moment. Like, on my shorts, apart from like some other little bits and pieces, it's, it's all that. I like it. I mm -hmm. um, don't know if I should really talk about this, but I think it's okay. There's one guy that tests relationships. So he asks them to swap phones. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I kept watching those videos yeah. too, yeah. Those are very I've not seen one that goes well though. No, like, because they're not posting bad. those ones, <laughs> yeah. right? They're, surely they all there's go loads. Badly. Yeah. But it's very like, I don't know how they, I, I don't know how people agree to it. Yeah, I know. Like, is it real content or is it script? It doesn't look yeah. scripted to me, it looks yeah. real. So, yeah, that's what I It's because they're probably not expecting to get that question. And then, yeah, it comes. They could always say no at that point, yeah. though, right? But I guess, like, if the partner says no, then you're like, why Sus. are they saying no? And yeah. then, yeah. Yeah, it gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. And then whatever I've been watching quite a bit, I don't like the other podcasts, the relationship mm -hmm. podcasts. I've seen them come up, but... Anyways, right, so, this is the shortcut. Oh. That was convenient. Would you turn left into this road here? And then we're going to see what happens next. I have a funny feeling it's just going to be a dead end, but let's see. 
Charlie Pigeon, try beeping your horn, see if it works. Yeah, it kind of worked, yeah. Uh, it could do that with all animals as well. It tends to kind of get them out of the road. I think that's why they were repairing the bumps. You see the bumps? Okay, um, it's kind of looking promising to be honest. Excellent judgment. There doesn't seem to be any other spaces for anyone else, so yeah. well done for coming to option A. Option B and C do not exist. I'm just trying to think when we entered this road. I didn't look at the sign. The sign would have told us if it was a dead end, but uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I have a feeling I did this many years ago, like probably 13 years ago. Okay, no, this is looking pretty good. This could be so helpful if it is a shortcut. Good judgment. They moved over for you, so you continued. That was very nice. Excellent. Alright, well, it seems to have been a shortcut. Okay, very nice. Well done for the door there. Okay. So I'm giving the secrets away here. <laughs> this wouldn't be a test road though, unless there was really bad traffic, I guess they might actually take it down here. Um, that was quite a tricky road as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Well done with your meeting situations. You had both situations come, ones where we had to move over and then ones where they moved over. Mm -hmm. So that was good. Once we get through this traffic light, um, we'll finish up. Good smart car. Oh, I didn't say that out loud, did I? Bad, bad Renault. Bad, bad Renault. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Turn him right. Thank you. All right, would you pull up on the right behind the van for me, please? Thank you. Anyway, it's fine. Don't worry too much about the driveways. It shouldn't be too long. All right, sweet. Thank you so much. Right, we are going to conclude the test here. It's very close to the test center. Um, we just went a slightly different road, so I thought, why not? Let's finish okay. here. Uh, would you push the power button for me, or power down? And that has been a real pleasure. Now, it is a tradition around here to ask you, how do you feel it went? Um, I feel like I made some mistakes when we first started the test. Okay. Like um, Serious or minor? Um, I, I might have done, like, one serious one, and then... A couple minors, but apart from that, I think it was okay. Okay, so it sounds like it's a pass. Okay. We've got the judge, jury, and examiners here. Their verdict is final. I'm trying to get my book here without knocking the phones down. Um, so they will cast their verdicts, and we'll see if you have passed or failed in a moment. Okay, I see Sarah Charlie there. Um, I'm sure Dale's hanging about as well. One's it, you better be there. Um, he's the middleman. And yeah, in the meantime, we'll go over some of the marks here. So okay. we do have a few minor faults. Mm -hmm. um, so we had the two appropriate speeds. I think there was a couple of roads where 
we thought it might have been a 20. Yeah, I wasn't sure on that. Yeah. Uh, to help you with that in the future, mm -hmm. have a look for signs. Okay. Normally 20s, they're regularly signposted. Okay. If we don't see any signs, it's more than likely a 30 rate. Okay. So it might help in the future. Uh, mm -hmm. Pinna does have, it's all right, it's fine, just move it. Um, it does have a few roads that are 20, mm -hmm. mainly where yeah. the test center is. Yeah. All right, so there's two there. Uh, we've got one minor driver fault for when we pulled up in front of a driveway. So if the examiner says, don't worry about the driveways, mm -hmm. like this occasion, absolutely fine. If they say pull up on the left, they might say convenient or safe, something yeah. along those words. They might just say pull up on the left. Try to avoid the driveways. Yeah. Wouldn't necessarily be anything major unless someone tried to use the driveway. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just a minor. So that's three. Um, there was another one actually for mirror checks change of speed. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when we stopped at a traffic light. Okay. So we're done for stopping at a traffic light. Just want to check the mirror, inside the mirror, mm -hmm. uh, before we... Uh, stop at traffic light. So I'm uh, just remembering uh, temporary traffic light. Uh, quick note for me uh, at the end. So that bit there at the end um, is quite important actually. And that was about 1.30 something. Okay. Uh, right. So last minor driver fault. So I think this is four and then we're done for the minor driver faults. And that would be signal when necessary. So if we get a bigger roundabout, yeah. if it's not one lane, it's more than one lane, mm -hmm. uh, try to show a left signal when we exit. Okay. Your mirror checks are very good. They're the most important part about mm -hmm. the roundabout. So very good mirror checks all round today. Well done. Uh, we did talk about one for the traffic light and then just a signal now, not mirror, for the exit. Your emergency stop was good. Okay, was it? I tried okay. to catch you on that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So, nice prompt braking. That was nice. Okay. You added quite a lot of force on the brakes. You know, our bodies kind of jerk mm. forwards like that. That's what we want. Okay. And um, excellent for doing your all-round observations before moving away. 10-10 yeah. uh, on that. 10-10 ten, ten on your show-me-tell-me questions. And 10-10 ten, ten on your manoeuvre, your reverse bay park. Oh, okay. Good observations. Again, I stress that because it's the leading reason why people aren't successful. Mm -hmm. They forget the observations. Yeah. You didn't, okay? okay? So you're checking your blind spot, especially the most dangerous one, mm -hmm. which is where the car swings. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you did that a few times throughout your maneuver, which is really nice. And you did it all in reverse, so that was perfect. All right, now, <laughs> there are a few serious. Okay. Um, there's just, actually, might just be one. Uh, let me see. Uh, the last one of the traffic, the bigger roundabout. Mm. Um, hello, everybody. Sorry, there's a lot of technical things. So I'm going to put this on YouTube, so I have to apologize to YouTube. Right, okay. When we exit that big roundabout, yeah. we had a car just on the left side of us. I think okay. you saw it. Was this when we were as team with going right? Yeah, okay. the big roundabout, yeah, Wembley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it was just a bit too close. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure you were aware of it. Mm -hmm. You did your mirrors, you did your signals, and you were exiting. And it's just that it was kind of like, not immediately next to us, but just shortly behind us. Mm -hmm. So the examiners would prefer a bit more space. More space yeah. yeah. I like it that you're doing it. We just need a bit more yeah, space. Okay. That's all. Um, so that was it, just that one, that one serious. Um, you know when you're turning right on a roundabout, do you have to indicate left? Uh, like, when we exit, exit higher? When, so like, yes, if yes. you're passing the second exit, yes. so you do, okay. Yes. So you can't just keep your right indicator on. If you to. want to, you can. I don't know if you're going to find this story boring or entertaining. On my driving test, I went around the same roundabout three times. Oh, really? The examiner kept pointing at the exit. <laughs> I'm sure people have heard this before, so I apologise. My belly's rumbling now as well. Um, and finally, I went round and, and, and exited mm. the roundabout. Okay. Um, so yes, you can do that. Okay. I passed. Um, it's a bit embarrassing. She laughed at me, but whatever. <laughs> I still got a pass. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to, because I was terrified of that. That's why yeah. I kept going round. Um, then, yeah, you can. Okay. Um, another thing that's in completely okay as well, kind of finish up probably on this, is um, we can take any exit. Okay. So if you go, uh oh, can't go there, whatever, or I'm confused, I don't know where I'm going, I'm lost, mm -hmm. and just follow what lane you're in and oh, try okay. to take whatever exit becomes the easiest. Okay. You know, maybe just following the lane will take you to an exit sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that's absolutely fine as well. We still pass. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, as long as we don't do anything sort of random. And, 
and uh, cause a serious fall, it doesn't matter if we go a different way on our test. Yeah. That's, that's absolutely fine. Right, any questions? Uh, no. Right, well, it just leaves me to give you your award for the day. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one. There you go. Congrats. You're the first person as well. Um, goes home, goes oh, in the first bin. First person to get a medal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so at least I got one. Like, yeah. I'm the first person to get one. Yeah. And, and you know, if you take one. another test, you might get the gold okay. one. <laughs> but yeah, you only get one. Okay. Right. Um, so that's that. It's been an absolute pleasure, Sophia. Thank you so much for coming. And it has been a very good drive. It was just that one part where we exit the roundabout. Yeah. So I don't think it's even that much to really remember or work on for the future. Okay. obviously you've got your test booked in i'd suggest you definitely go for your test yeah. don't change your plans okay. keep going okay. and the test center that you're going to there's only one roundabout like that okay. in fact there is no roundabout like that that one's three lanes the biggest one we'll get is two Okay, yeah, that's but you good. might turn right on it, mm -hmm. so um, similar ish. Okay, okay? all right, um, yeah, so no questions, or yeah, you're good. All right, well, thanks again. Did you want to make any shout outs to your profile or anything like that? Um, my username's like too long to even okay, say, I guess so. that's it then. All right, well, thanks again. Thank you to everybody. We're gonna sign off for today. Tattoo, I see you. Hello, everybody else. Uh, thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. And sorry about me and my batteries running out on the cameras. Okay, until next time, guys, stay safe. Enjoy the sunny Sunday afternoon. And I've been Scott. This has been Sophia. Bye.